Okay, there's a couple more things that are important that I, I just remembered. Um, so the, the bolts that I chose to use, these four bolts in each of these corners here, I chose I chose they're they're all they're metric to keep you know everything metric. They are eight millimeter by one point two five thread pitch and they're twenty millimeters long. Okay, the four that I used in each of these corners. Alright, that's one thing. Um, the holes that I put in here, in all the, these six holes in, in the in the uh, in the brackets for the hitch, those are 27 64. That was a good size for those holes. 27 64. This one I screwed up and I had to kind of weld it to fill it back in. If you're wondering what happened there. Uh, okay, we're going to go over these dimensions here. So from the from the first from from the edge let's see how we can do this here so if, again from um these are all outer edge measurements i keep given okay so where you want to pick up the first hole is an inch and three quarters that's the first hole from this outer edge to the first hole go an inch and three quarters in okay and then between the first and second hole I did all this in decimals okay I know I talked about keeping everything in met, uh, metric in millimeters but I used uh, decimals in these measurements so between the first and second hole between the center here and the second hole is 3.705 thousandths Alright, 3.705 between the first and second hole. And then what I did is between the first and third hole, it's six and seven eighths. Okay, let's just verify that here. Yeah, between the first and third hole, it's six and seven eighths. Between the second and third, I'll just throw this one in there anyway. Between the second and third hole in decimals is 3.130. Alright. 3.130 between the second and third hole. Now I think I pretty much covered everything. Uh, if you're admiring the hitch cover, I bought that on eBay. Uh, it was kind of cheesy, but I, I made it nice, and I'll tell you, I'll show you why I thought it was kind of cheesy. It looks good from out here. So basically, when you buy it, it's just this part. I made the gray part out of PVC. So what it, what they do is they just stick it in the hole, and these side pieces right here keep it from coming out. Well anybody could steal it. This way I made this extension piece so it goes way in and you can lock it. Right? That, that was the idea there. So it kind of fit, sets off sets it off with a nice little touch there I think. Okay, well, um, good luck. I, I hope uh, it was an informative video. I, I think I was going to mention why I had trimmed these little bevels on the brackets here. On both sides. If you notice these, how I had to put a little bevel on here. It's about 3 16 across the face of it. That's due to, again, uh, how the stock bumper bracket fits over this. If, if you don't taper this back like I did, uh, it won't set flat on the, on the bar here. And I'll get the bumper and we'll get a close-up on it.
get a close up right here this is this is what I'm talking about see these raised parts right by the hole here so those little relief bevels I cut in the bracket were because of the of that the way they stamped the the stock bu uh, bumper bracket all right well if you choose to make this it was a fun project for me and um, hopefully I, I explained how I did it well enough where you're not totally confused but I, I way overbuilt it and I I hope it gives me years of uh, trouble free use I'm sure it will okay bye